the public relations industry, the advertising industry, which is dedicated to creating consumers. It's a phenomenon that developed in the freest countries, in Britain and the United States. And the reason is pretty clear. It became clear by, say, a century ago that it was not going to be so easy to control the population by force. Too much freedom had been won. Uh, labor organizing, parliamentary labor parties in many countries, uh, women started to get the franchise and so on. So you had to have other means of controlling people. And it was understood and expressed that you have to control them by control of uh, uh, beliefs and attitudes. Well, one of the best ways to control people in terms of attitudes is what the great political economist Thorstein Veblen called fabricating consumers. If you can fabricate wants, make obtaining things that are just about within your reach the essence of life, they're going to be trapped into becoming consumers. And it's done with great sophistication. You don't see many wild stallions anymore. He's one of the last of a wild and very singular breed. Come to Marlboro country. The ideal is what you actually see today. Where, let's say, teenage girls, if they have a free Saturday afternoon, will go walking in the shopping mall, not to the library or somewhere else. The idea is to try to control everyone, uh, to turn the whole society into the perfect system. The perfect system would be a society based on a dyad, a pair. The pair is you and your television set, or maybe now you and the internet, in which that presents you with uh, what the proper life would be, what kind of gadgets you should have and you spend your time and effort uh, gaining those things which you don't need and you don't want, and maybe you'll throw them away. But that's the measure of a, a decent life. What we see is in, say, advertising on television. If you've ever taken an economics course, you know that uh, markets are supposed to be based on informed consumers making rational choices. Well. If we had a system like that, a market system, uh, then a, a television ad would consist of, say, General Motors uh, putting up information saying, here's what we have for sale. That's not what a, an ad for a car is. An ad for a car is a football hero, you know, an actress, uh, the car doing some crazy thing like uh, going up a mountain or something. Uh, the point is to create uninformed consumers who will make irrational choices. That's what advertising is all about. Uh, and when the same institutions, PR uh, system, runs elections, they do it the same way. They want to create an uninformed electorate which will make irrational choices, uh, often against their own interests. And we see it every time one of these extravaganzas take place.